Hey Tubies, we're back and the engine mounts have arrived. I'll just show you the label first where they've been made and then you can make your own minds up before I unpack everything. I've already seen them, I know what they're like. Obviously not everything's rubbish that comes out of China but let's just say the build quality is not that great on them. So these are engine mounts for a Chevy something big block something or another. So they look quite nice, they finish nicely. Bit disappointed. I thought these would be rubber. They're those. It's the polyurethane. I don't like these type of bushes. I've fitted them once before on a different car suspension setup, and yeah, it stops all the flex and everything, and you do get a lot of judder through the car. I'd rather go rubber, to be honest, like she says. But for a rubber mount. And also, I'll just show you. So the quality looks like they. It looks like these rods are drilled through, oh, through and welded. But I'll just show you what I mean. Like this one, I don't know if you can see it, it's off centre, but that's not really an issue. Let me just put one there and show you so you can get a, a visualisation. Well, so that's one. Right, this is the one I'm a bit disappointed with, to be honest. Yeah, that one's off centre as well. Don't know why, but uh, I'll let you make your own minds on the straightness of the uh, mounts that they've made. Yeah, that's not good on that one on the right, is it? I mean, look at the angle of that. I mean, I'm no means a welder, but I'm sure I could weld that straighter than that. I'm sure Stevie Wonder could weld that straighter than that. I don't think I'm going to send them back. They weren't expensive. I think I paid £35 for them. But um, it does come with some other hardware, which I found, which I think could be pretty useful, to be honest. I mean, it comes with these thick plates as well, which I think are nice. Not that it warrants £35, because I've got thick metal anyway, so I could probably cut my own, but then I've got these anyway. I don't think I'm going to use these. If you look at the original Leaf engine mounts, they are huge donut things, they are. They're massive rubber fixtures, they are. I know this is a leaf car, but you know, even so, you, I don't know how much twist it needs on the on the mount. If it's if there's no flexibility, will you get vibrations through the car? I don't know. Maybe not because it's an electric motor. It's not a cylinder four cylinder engine car. So I think I'm going to use those in conjunction with this other kit car set I've got. But it's given me the idea of what I want to do. So I could even send those back actually. But I quite like to keep those plates. I wish when they made these plates they were a bit more symmetrical. I mean look at... You think they get all the corners, all the holes in the same corners? Same gaps? So this is my logic now. Weld that up. Mock it up in the car first. I'll probably weld that somewhere. If you can visualise it sliding down, obviously I can't hold it there. Only two hands. So that needs to go. I was thinking that could go there. Then with the other part of the kit car bit, somehow find the correct angle and weld that on there. So that'll be welded onto the plate. Well, and then this. Once you get the angle and it's correct. Once it's cut correctly, put my teeth back in, that will get welded. That will get welded on the bar as well, onto that, if you can imagine, like on there. So do that, that, that's the sleeve for the kit car engine bushing. And I think these, you can get, see if that fails, well, I'd have to buy another kit again, if it'll still be available in the future. Not that it will fail, I wouldn't have thought, but... Look at the angle on that. That's terrible, isn't it? Maybe if I stand with one leg, it'll straighten up. Anyway, yeah, that'll be welded on to a tube onto the fixing plate. And I could weld some nuts on the back of that. Be nice to have this as a removable part, to be honest. Anyway, that's another way off from that yet. So probably need to heat that up or clean it up. That needs to get pressed in there. Once that's welded on, that will get pressed in there if you can visualize. So that'll be like that off the tube, blah, blah, blah. Now I do like these. 
plates that they've come supplied with the other kit. So you could put one either side of the bushing. I've got four plates. And then what will happen, I'll make a plate that will come off the side of the leaf motor that will come across and it will weld. And then I'll have two of these like on the plate to take the angle of the dangle. I've got some magnets. I think I might just try and see if I can set this in the car on the magnets just to get a, a rough subframe has now been removed. There are parts of it there. The subframe is on the floor, which is the main, which I've stripped most of the stuff off it. So now it's, I've got to take the anti-roll bar off yet. A lot of these bolts are seized. It was a real, real pain to get this apart. I did a video on this. There's plenty of videos on YouTube about doing the front subframes on these cars. And that's the rest of the giblets hanging out there. When it comes to it, I'm going to strip them, clean them, and paint them with appropriate chassis paint. So, next step, I think, will be... So, I've just got the frame only on the floor, and I've got my mounting bracket. I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to bolt the frame up loose. I'm going to mark up and weld in completely... So I've got a bit of a leeway on the, got a bit of adjustment on there. So I'm going to just double check the exact spot for that. If that square is the line up of the end of the, the cradle, then I'm going to centralize the plate onto that and weld them in. I'm going to weld the plates in and finish them. Then I'm going to stay tuned. So I've gone ahead and bolted the subframe in. Still in two minds what to do. I keep chopping and changing. I'm wondering if I'm trying to overcomplicate this a simple task of what it's supposed to do. So I think what now is I'm going to do an attention test. Do I still have your full attention? Do my videos put you to sleep? Are my videos a good ad for insomnia? So if you're still paying attention, please type in the letter of what I've got here. Thank you. Anyway, back to the job in hand. So, Mon Capitan, I've bolted the subframe back in, just the single piece there. So that square is the good location point for the, down there, the cradle. I'm wondering whether I'm over, over complicating everything. Now, I'm wondering if there's going to be too much um, lateral force that way on it. If it's a single, just a single, we'll have to put some extra angles in there to support the, if there's any sort of, Obviously, it's going to be well welded, so it's not going to move anywhere. But, but I'm looking back at the idea of the original subframe now. I've cut off the original parts. So I've cut off the original parts of the engine mount that was located on there, like that, in front of the outlets, if you remember. And there was another piece down the bottom there that stuck out this way. Now the original subframe was designed to take the weight of the engine, as we all know. So I'm wondering now, again, whether to change my mind again. I don't want to add extra unnecessary weight to the car, to be honest. And the motor itself will be a lot lighter than the original engine. But then you've got the other side of the weight of the batteries, which probably counteracts all that. So I've come back to my original B and W mount there. This is one of the mounts. I think I've got another one of these. This was on one side, and there was a different type for the other side. Now I'm wondering whether over on over. Bit of gibberish. Google Translate. Now I'm thinking whether maybe mount that in there like that on the subframe, and then make some. make some other doodars to come off it. I don't know, then I'm starting a whole new plan again then, aren't they? Then I could add additional support to the, I could probably just add a bit of flat plate straight across the front of that, just to add a bit of additional strength to that angle piece. That piece there is where, yeah, the whole thing before just took the whole weight of everything. With this in mind, I've got a new idea now, and what it is, is I'll show you on the next video. Thanks for watching.